Okay, so along with monitoring the roads and these big changes with back to school, we also wanted to send our team out throughout the community. That's where we're going to find Tom Miller in Georgetown, outside of Georgetown High School. Tom, we got to know, are you ready? Is the family ready? <laughs> Family's ready. I think they're still sleeping right now because my son is going back to school as part of this. But uh, this is such a, a fast growing district. I was doing a little bit of my own homework. They have 13,500 students, or they had that at the end of last year. They're expecting as many as 400 new students this year. And a lot of those students eventually end up here at Georgetown High School. So I have a special guest to talk about this. Uh, this is Brian Johnson. He is the principal of Georgetown High School. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here with us. With all the growth that district's seen, how do you keep up? How do you accommodate all these students? Uh, we focus on people, honestly. Uh, we're very intentional, very strategic with our hiring practices and things like that. We want this to be an incredible experience from the moment they step on the property uh, all throughout their experience here. So we really put a lot of focus on bringing in the right people. Okay. And for students, what is your priority for them? How do you help them grow? And, and what's your role in all of that? Well, we are, we're coming off one of the best years of Georgetown High School ever. Uh, very successful last year, whether it be academics, test scores were up kind of across the board. We won 10 district championships with athletics. So our, our focus for this year is to just build on that momentum, take it to the next level. Uh, but at the end of the day, what I want for our students is w when they're our age and they look back on their high school experience, we want them to think fondly on their time here and, and just that they enjoyed their experience. So that's what we're going for. One of the students who's probably thinking back fondly on his time is your son. Yes. We were talking earlier, you told me you took him off to college uh, after he went to Georgetown I High did. School. and that. He wasn't alone in that experience. A lot of a lot of administrators, a lot of teachers, they see their kids go through here. What was that like for you and, and what was this weekend like for you? Well, it was the, it was an honor of my life to be able to be his principal. And yeah. I have two daughters here as well. Um, so that was very, very special. Uh, but I I loved having him here. He had great role models, he had great mentors and his teachers and his coaches. He's he's well prepared for academics at A&M and he's well prepared just in terms of being a good human being I think I think he's gonna do great and I know like as a parent I've said what would it do if, if, if it was your child and you're probably able to very honestly answer those kinds of questions given that you have students here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Principal Johnson, thank you so much. I hope it's a wonderful school year and, and first day. Thank you. All right. Thank you for talking with us. You bet. Uh, coming up a little later, we're going to be heading back to the football field where we're going to be speaking with the head coach. Uh, he's doing some really cool stuff with his football players, teaching them uh, some lessons, not just about football, but about life as well. Until then, we'll send it back to you. Thank you so much. What a, a beautiful way for that principal to wrap up his time with Tom and saying how um, he's just raising good humans, aren't we all, right?